Right guys, how you doing? Today I'm going to show you how to install the N900 notifier. Now, for those that don't know what this is, this basically will allow you to see any calls or any text messages that you receive or have missed out on and come up on your desktop uh, PC. And this one is for Windows that I'm doing. You can set this up on a Mac or under Linux operating system as well. Okay, so you're going to need Python 2.7 for Windows, Grill for Windows, N900 Notifier, and you also need to install Python onto N900 in case you don't have it installed. Go into your App Manager, search and install for the package which I have got typed below, which is mimo-python-device-env. If you can't see it then make sure all the repositories are enabled and finally you're also going to need to do some port forwarding and extract the grill and it has created a folder and all I'm doing is just clicking on setup here now the important thing here is that you remember the path of where you're going to install it now that is the default path, but I am going to change that. You don't have to change it as long as you're comfortable and you know where to find the folder or where the path is. Just click on next. I'll just let the install for all users are default. Again, you can customize it if you wish. And that is the default path. I've not changed it, that's just as it is. And I would probably just keep it as that. Okay, before we go any further, we're going to set up the environment variables. I'm using Windows 7, but they should be pretty much the same on Windows Vista. And Windows XP will be slightly different how you first see it. So what you want to do is go to my computer and right click on it. Go to properties. Now for Vista, I think it will be the same. And for Windows 7, you'll see this. And what you want to do is you just want to click on advanced system settings and that's when you want to be at. For Windows XP users, by default, you, you will see a screen similar to that. And all you're doing is, you're just making sure you're going into Advanced tab there. And you're clicking on Environment Variables. Now what you're doing is, you're going to click on New. And you're going to type in path and you're going to type in where you have got the folders python and grill once you've typed that in you're going to separate it so you can add another folder in there so you're going to do that by like that and you're going to type in the folder where your grill is and you would just click on OK and you would just hit OK and OK out of there. So all you would do is start with server, going to right click on that and click on edit with ideally. now see a script from here and go to line and a small box will pop up and you type in 62 like I have and just click on OK and you'll see the cursor that is blinking on the side is trying to tell you that is line 62 so basically we're going to change just this line here, not this line, just this top line here. And if you just highlight it all the way across, you can see that it kind of goes on further. So it's just where the speech marks end. That is the end of that line. Okay, so once you've highlighted that line, you're just going to backspace or press the delete key and just delete that. And make sure you did select all of it. If you haven't, then you will still see some text there. And just delete that if there is any there. And you're just going to replace that with the 
code I've put in below. And you can also see this code again in the description as well, guys. Now, I've already copied it from Notepad, so I've just pasted that in. So that is how you should see it. Now, if you look down just a little bit below, just scroll down, and you should see this bit. Now, this is the important part. This is where you're going to put your IP in. Change that to your static IP that's been assigned to you, to your desktop machine. Um, in my case, that is two. So that's all I've done, I've changed that. And that is a port number. That is the default, you can change that if you like. Now we click on client.py and again edit. And you should see something like this. All we're changing on this one, you're just going to change the IP and put your, your own one in. So in my case, it's two. And again, you can also change the port here as well. And I've kept it default. Now go to your Python folder and you want to open up Notepad or you can just do create a new text document. Open that up. And this is what you're going to type in there. And you're going to save that as a bat file. Text document. And just open that up. And I'm just going to paste this code in. Remember, all this information is in the description, guys. So you can just simply copy and paste. Now, all you want to do here is basically point to the path of whatever your folder is for Python or whatever you've kept this file, whatever you've kept that file, you need to make sure you point to that. So that's all you're changing here. You're not changing anything else. So now you should see you've got VBS and the .bat file and you should have the server file in here as well. Okay, now connect your N900 to your PC and you're going to copy over the client.py file over into that and set. Now, I'm just going to store it in the root, which will be under the My Docs folder. You can, however, put that in any folder you like. It's up to you. Okay, now it's time to test it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on notify.bps, just double click it, you're not going to see anything happen. Well, before we go into anywhere, you need to connect up to your Wi-Fi and basically go to whatever you saved it. So for me, it's under my docs, you're going to type in Python. Hit enter. Now you won't see anything happen, it's just going to sit like that. Take my other phone here. So you can see something like that. And you can also go into grill and have a look. So it's proved that it's not going to come up again. Once it's set, it's set. And you can see the history. It tells you who called, what time, and what date. If you've got any comments or any questions, guys, then feel free to ask. And I'll try and get back to you as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching, guys.